Hey yo guys, how you guys doing? My name is Axel and welcome to my first ever YouTube video and today we're going to be talking about everything that I have on my desk in 2022. Little bit about me, my name is Axel again, I'm 26, I live in Singapore, originally from the Philippines, so what up mga kababayan? To start off, let's talk about the tabletop. This tabletop needs no introduction, this is a Carl B tabletop from Ikea, it's super sturdy, it looks good and it's very affordable. For the legs, I got these from Divinox. I believe they are a local brand here in Singapore. I configured it to have three presets, one for standing, one for sitting, and one for the max height. It's so much easier to do cable management when your desk is high up because I'm getting old and my back hurts, bro. Now, the PC. I had this built about three years ago and it's running an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X 8 core processor, 32 GB of RAM, an EVGA RTX 2080 Super Ultra, and of course it is custom looped by a local brand named The Masterpiece. Ever since I got it about three years ago, I didn't do any maintenance to it, so gunk started to form and actually the coolant kind of got so thick and gunky that it actually wasn't circulating anymore. So I called my guy and had the PC serviced, he did a full cleaning, he opened it all up, cleaned the tube and the radiators, it was picked up at around 2pm and he gave it back at around 8. Overall, super great service. Next up, we have the monitors. I am using two stacked monitors from Prism Plus. It's the X300 30 inches 200Hz curve monitor with an aspect ratio of 21 by 9 or 2560 by 1080. I got the first monitor about 4 years ago when I was still using my old PC and ever since I got it, I haven't encountered any issues at all about dead pixel or anything like that. Up to this day, it is still as good as when I got it and most importantly, it was super affordable. And then I got my second monitor about 3 years ago about the same time I got this PC that I'm using right now because it was so good I had to get another one for watching YouTube videos, podcasts, and looking at Discord while I'm gaming. For 2 years, I had my second monitor placed on the left side of my main in a portrait display orientation. It was working well, but because I'm rocking an ultrawide, I find myself tilting my head too much in order to see Discord or watch videos, so I changed my monitor layout to stacked and it actually works way better for me. I think stacked layout works well if you have an ultrawide monitor as your main, but at the end of the day, it is still all down to preference. I also want to talk about this light bar on top of my second monitor. This is the Xiaomi monitor light bar. It's totally magnetic, it is controlled wirelessly by this knob, it's super slick. You can turn the knob to control the brightness and then you can press on it and turn it to control the temperature of the light. Now to the thick and thocky keyboard. This is a custom build by another local brand called Landing Pad. And this is a Tofu 65 keyboard in black with a KBD67 Mark II PCB polycarbonate plate, Gateron Ink Black V2 for the switches. On top of it are these hammerhead light keycaps. It's been fully modded. They did stabilizer tuning, tape, and foam mod. The switches are lubed and filmed. So it sounds super great and thocky. And here's a sample of that. Now for audio, I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 connected to a cloud lifter connected to my Shure SM7B. Although I have a Rodecaster Pro that me and my boys use for podcasts, I'm sticking with the Scarlett 2i2 for my desk setup for a more minimal look. I'm gonna continue the desk setup in here. This is actually the Shure SM7B that I'm using to record this audio and I'm using the Rodecaster Pro and I have a few of these. I have a, a wait, let me just let's go get it. Right. So I have three of these, one Shure SM7B, and then three headsets, all connected to the Roadcaster Pro when we're doing our podcast. So yeah, 
That's about it. To those of you who are still watching, thank you guys so much. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. And I know it's a short video and it's not really well made. Just to let you know, this is my first video ever. I have never done anything like this. I only started learning how to edit about three weeks ago. And I didn't know anything about like lighting and all that stuff. I learned that all from YouTube. So I'm, this is my way of giving back to the community. Since this is my first YouTube video in this channel, I just want to let you guys know that I will be doing so many fun stuff. I'm thinking filming, I'm thinking short skits, I'm thinking about food reviews, or um, I'm thinking about travel vlogs, I'm thinking about vlogging, I'm thinking about tech review. I know this is a death setup tour, but I just wanted to show you guys where I'll be doing all of my videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's truly going to help the channel to grow. Uh, my only goal now actually is just to reach like 10,000 subscribers. Stay safe, everyone. Blah!